Hello my soccer universe, for 4th of July I think there was only one jersey that I can show you guys and that is of course an American jersey. In fact you see all three of my American jerseys and I have also the women's jersey from the centenary season because my wife also got that one. But which one is it? It's of course the away jersey because for the other two I've already made videos. Uh, the, this away jersey actually quite an interesting story uh, behind it in the sense that I was after ahead of the 2010 World Cup I knew Austria will not quali 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 qualify and since I was living in, in the US I decided it's fine time to embrace the US MNT and I'll go all out behind them I gotta say, ever since I have been a supporter of the US uh, national team, which before that honestly was not so great, but I, their run to the final of the Confederations Cup where they r narrowly lost out to Brazil really, really, really was something that kind of inspired me. In any case, it was time to get a US national team's jersey. And ideally, I actually want the one from 2009, which, which I think is an underrated classic for, for this. But they have been had really nice jerseys up until that. I think the one for the World Cup in 2006, both of those looked rather nice. And then uh, even going earlier, early, there were some really nice jerseys from, from, from this, especially in the early 90s. And I have to say, I always liked, especially the white with the navy look. That always looked absolute class to me. And then usually in a way, jer jersey with navy. Back then, we didn't have, you know, maybe you could find on eBay some stuff or something, but it was not that easy to go uh, second hand. And so, yeah, although I wanted a 2009 shirt, it was sold out, of course. And I said, okay, come the World Cup. And they released the blue one first. And I was so torn. Should I get the blue one or should I wait for, for the white one? I want to see the white one. And then I saw the white one and I s still was not quite convinced. I think I would have been more convinced um, if the white one would have, let's say, a red sash running across it. I think this would may, may, may make it even more special. But I, I remember walking uh, and asking people in my department back then, which one do, 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 do you want to get? And I can tell you, it was everyone that I asked. It was, of course, an even number and was split right down the middle. Half said, the blue one is awesome. The white one, um, the other one said, the white one looks much more class. And this is where it went back and forth. And then, okay, I said, okay, it, it depends on me. Let's go for the more classic look. And I got the white one and I never got around to get the blue one, which was a shame. Uh, and then I've been looking you know, I left the US, we got, I got this jersey, but I always want to have an away jersey. And I honestly, I was not so sold on the ones that were um, um, they, uh, published or uh, put out uh, then. And so it was always, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I think the one for 2018 there, there were some nice ones in there, but you know, never really super sold on it. And then come at the World Cup in 22, I said, I really should get finally uh, an, an away jersey for, for, for this because I have two home jer jerseys, three if you count the women's jersey. And fortunately enough, one will have was maybe a little bit more expensive than the white. I think it was 40 euros, but I found this jersey in L, which is the same size as the white one. I typically wear XL. And I said, yeah, that's a sign. I better get that one. And so, yeah. That's the story behind me getting a jersey. I finally have the set from the World Cup. Um, now, there was the upcoming year, there was a red one with a blue sash um, released, which on my wedding day, the US lost the final to Mexico wearing, I think, that red one, as far as I, re I remember. And the sash design has been up until two, 2014, uh, was also in this uh, wonderful Waldo jersey with the red and white um, uh, hor 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 horizontal bands, which I really would love to have as well. There was also a little, little sash. I think this is for me the classic American look, if you were to ask me. But I would say after all the story, let's look at a few details of this particular shirt. Upon closer inspection, unfortunately, although it was expensive, I have to say it is 
the, the first thing that came out to me is not in the perfect condition that the tag in here, you know, there is this snake tag. This is completely washed out, which is much better on the white one. And also on the back, they had this tape uh, back then with the USA there. You also see some white staining there, which is maybe the, a little downer to be honest. Uh, but on the other side, it made it easier for me to actually wear this jersey a whole lot. Typical of the 2010 Nike, this Band 8 uh, patch on there. But the standard design is, of course, the sash. And I've been going back and forth. Um, I know the white sash stands out and I remember uh, there was a, you know, this typically fall for quick uh, question, I think it was in Sports Illustrated, which World Cup team do you, do you follow? And as part of you following the US, one uh, question was, do you like beauty queens because of the sash, of course. In any case, I was always wondering if the jersey wouldn't have looked better with a red sash and then the white, so invert those two, um, just for the simple fact that it would remain overall dark. But then uh, on the other side, I really do not dislike uh, the white sash as well. Um, I think the numbers on this one, it was very curious. I think the numbers were worn here, so kind of keep the sash a little bit uh, more uh, pronounced, which we, we really, really like. And then the obvious, the obvious, obvious uh, item that I really do not like is, of course, the Federation Crest, which to me is one of the... And finally, they, I think the new one, it doesn't look great, but it looks way better. I mean, we all, everyone would like to have this one. I think this one would be awesome. But this one is just wrong in so many ways. I mean, A, it looks very, very much 90s, um, but they also got the colors wrong. I mean, it's stars and stripes. There should be white stars on blue and then red and white stripes. Why do we have blue and white stripes here? Make this red and white stripe. Make this upper field blue. Have white stars here. Even invert the ball, make a blue ball with white uh, stars. And I think you could get, 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 get away, but I always thought that the coloring of this one is completely, completely off. Now, another nice feature of this shirt, and I have to say, I really like this 2010 material. It feels kind of bubbly. I've said this before, but another uh, feature is, of course, on the inside of the crest, you have, and this was also a also feature, the DTOM, don't tread on me with the snake, which is of course from the, uh, was, was, it was the Civil War or Revolutionary and then there was one of those, it's one of those, um, how to how, how, how say, slogans to show American pride, don't put us down. I think it was the Revolutionary War, but you know, you can correct me in the comments below. We have a very interesting color. Um, it looks like a crew neck, but it has a little fold, fold over. So it's kind of a mixture between a crew and a v-neck. And yeah, other than that, we have the authentic tag down here. We have the drive fit logo. Does this have still the tags? Yes, it has also the tag uh, in here. Uh, and there's some ventilation patterns going here on the side, um, which was typical for that time. The match jerseys, of course, were way more ventilated than the replica versions. Of course, this jersey was worn by the Nadjeshi by players like Landon Donovan, Clint Dempsey, uh, with a good Yevo, Michael Bradley, you know, uh, quite some uh, names that you would uh, rec rec recognize meanwhile. And so uh, this goes down, it was actually overall a rather successful World Cup campaign with a kind of a split uh, ending. In this jersey, uh, first and foremost, they actually beat, I think, Italy away from home, if I remember correctly. Um, the, it was the one first re release, but at the, at the World Cup, they got the very credible 1-1 uh, draw, what a howler, against England. Then they fought back, being 2-0 down to Slovenia to get it to 2-2. Probably should have, not only probably, they should have won it because they scored a good goal that wasn't a lot given. And then this uh, jersey did not feature in the World Cup and anymore, and they got the famous win in the white one, but lost also to Ghana in the white one. As I said, a World Cup campaign that you had a good draw, you were put in a good position to actually make another quarter final, uh, potentially even more. In the end, you reached exactly what you said, set said out to survive the group stage. So in that sense, as I said, um, I think one can get satisfied, but it's not a hooray result overall. But yeah, I was very, very happy 
to have now the set completed. Those are the two US churches that I probably um, have the strongest connection with. Let's put it that way. In any case, please let me know what you think about this jersey. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.